Hi everyone, I'm Andrea from Girl Vamanos and I'm here to give you guys a one year update of what it's been like for a Californian like myself um, to live in Texas. And I also got some questions for you guys on Instagram, so I'll be answering those questions today. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like my videos. Okay, well, I'm going to start with the positives and things that I'm still enjoying today, one year later. So I will reiterate this again. Um, it's really beautiful here. I live in Austin and it is so green. I mean, there's so many trees, like the nature is really beautiful and there's actually a lot of wildlife. If you ever drive to um, Dripping Springs area or like anywhere in hill country at dawn or at, um, dawn is that sunrise? It, during the sunrise or sunset hours, you're going to see like hundreds of deer. Um, they're so cute and like you'll even see like the little white spotted ones that look like Bambi. But anyways, um, we went to the Blue Hole in Wimberley recently and it is so amazing guys. Like, And that's going to lead into my next thing that I'm still really enjoying about Austin is um, it still feels really safe. I mean, in comparison to California guys, I... I don't have to like feel like my head is constantly on a swivel trying to figure out if someone's gonna steal my phone while I'm using it or you know I'm just feel much more safe I'm like we go to so many places where there's just like kids running around and you know it seems like honestly like a really great place to um, like raise a family in Texas and um, yeah it just seems still like really wholesome and really safe so um, that's something that I I'm still enjoying about living here. And another thing that I still really love about living in Texas is that people are really friendly. Like you end up talking to just like random strangers all the time when you're at the restaurant, when you're at the grocery store. I mean, I just go to the post office. Um, like people are just like having conversations with each other. And I honestly really love that about living here is like everyone is really friendly. People are open to talk to you. It's not just like really standoffish. So yeah. That's really awesome about living here. Um, another thing, just like specifically about Austin that I really love is that it's, there's actually like a young vibe going on. There's, um, you know, a lot of young professionals. Like if you go to the bars, restaurants, it's just like a lot of young people. And um, that's really cool. Like if you want to like, you know, if you still want to be somewhere that's safe, but has like a young vibe, um, Austin is definitely really good for that. All right, so now I'm going to get into the things that I don't like about living in Texas. Um, for one, I mean, this is very specific to myself, but it is really lonely out here. I mean, I've made a couple of friends, but still it's not the same as like having your mom like a drive away when you can go visit her or like my siblings or my cousins or my friends that I've had for a long time. It's lonely, but you get to really appreciate everything, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> Another thing that I don't love about living here is I feel like there's a lack of diversity. Um, I, I mean, just in Austin in particular, um, you know, it's like there's not a lot of diversity when it comes to like people, like culturally, but also like your food choices. I mean, if there's not a lot of cultural diversity, then you're probably not gonna get a lot of diversity in food. And people will tell me, yeah, there's a Korean restaurant or there's this kind of restaurant. You guys don't have hot pot. Mic drop. Like, you guys don't have hot pot here. So, yeah. And then I was reading one of the comments on like one of the Austin um, Facebook groups and someone was asking like, oh, is there a hot pot spot in Austin? And then someone said in the comments, what do you mean by hot pot? And I'm just like, get out of the conversation. You don't even know what they're talking about. So anyways, that's really just like, how it is here so just like a lack of diversity like cultural diversity and i feel like i don't know i almost feel like some of the people like it's like a kind of place where you kind of like assimilate to or like a lot of people assimilate to the culture here so i noticed like a lot of latinos or a lot of like just like other 
cultures, like they try to assimilate with like the Texan culture. And like, honestly, it's not really like that in California. <laughs> People are, you know, like they embrace their culture and they try to keep that as like, just they just try to like keep that and it's embraced. Um, so that's one thing that I don't love about living here. Another thing is the infrastructure. I mean, not to get into the whole winter Armageddon thing, like we lost water for a week. What are you gonna do without water for a week? But um, just like in general terms, like even just like on your day-to-day -day basis, you there's like no sidewalks anywhere. So whenever we go on a walk, we just like walk in the parking lot of our apartments. Like, yeah, that's literally our outing is like, if we want to go on a walk, we just have to walk in our apartments, which is not a lot of fun. But yeah, it's like there's not really any sidewalks anywhere. There's no bike lanes. There's the streets are so dark, guys. Like it's so dark. So it's really it's yeah, like it's really the only way you're going to get around in Texas is by driving. So um, that's one of the things that I don't love. It's like it's not super convenient if you're like an active person and you just like want to walk places like I can't even walk to the grocery store that's like it's like a football field away because there's no cross like there's no like l light to cross the road to get there that's insane another thing I learned about until after I moved here which I wish I would have known but the property tax here is so high so if you're going to buy like an entry level home in Austin, you'll probably be paying like almost a grand in property tax. I mean, that's literally like someone's mortgage. That's like literally someone's rent, you know? And I wish I would have known that because, um, you know, it does really limit your choices or it does really limit like your ability to buy a home here. Well, this is my boyfriend's comment, but his least favorite thing, or one of his least favorite things, is like the lack of arts and culture because we're used to like living in San Francisco. We could go to like the De Young Museum, the SF MoMA, the Asian Arts Museum. There's like a Jewish museum. Like there's so many museums. I mean, it is like an international city, so it doesn't really compare to living in Austin. But yeah, there's just like a lack of like arts culture and like cultural activities like we used to have um um i mean there's like pride festival but then they also have carnival in san francisco and it's a lot of fun so yeah we like miss doing a lot of those kinds of activities okay another thing that i realized when you live in texas like it's not conducive for road trips unless you only want a road trip in texas because everywhere is so far away um like we went to new orleans that's probably one of the closest things that we places we can go to um that's really cool it's like seven and a half hour drive um so that's really awesome but like we went to new mexico that's like a nine hour drive that's a pretty far drive but we've gone there a couple times already now um to check it out like we really wanted to go to denver but it's 13 hours away um so that's kind of foreign to, if you think about it it's literally like one state up and over um so yeah like if you want to go anywhere it's really far if you want to like travel by car which we're doing a lot of right now because it's it is a pandemic and the final thing that i will say about texas is like there's like this narrative going around that it's like all about freedom here and i think that if your idea of freedom is having guns and not wearing a mask then yeah you have all of the freedom in the world here but if your idea of freedom involves a lot more things like for example you can't drink or you can't buy alcohol on sundays or if you buy it at your grocery store it has to be like after a certain time um you can't smoke weed so that's illegal here like completely um you can't gamble like um you know it seems like oh you know they're they are restrictive about like making choices on your body um specifically women so yeah i feel like there's um kind of like a misconception that it's like there's a lot of freedom here but I personally feel like it's one of the most restrictive places I've lived in um another thing is like we're used to living in California we can just like 
pull off the side of the road and like you see this beautiful watering hole you can just jump in or you can just go on a random hike like pull off the side of the road and just go on a hike um, but a lot of the property in Texas is um, like private property so you can't just like go off the side of the road and go hiking somewhere because there's literally a fence like Texas is just full of fences everywhere there's a fence that says private property no trespassing um, like we're driving on the way to like this cute restaurant in Dripping Springs and we're you know just looking at the river going down the going down the road and we're just like oh my god it looks so beautiful like we really just want to pull off the side of the road and see this river and just like walk down to it but there is literally a fence like the whole way down the river like we just we're trying to find like an opening where it's like not private property but it's somebody's property so you can't go to it so i feel like there's just a lot of private property here yeah so i would say that's kind of a misconception about living in texas <sighs> and cue the comments if you don't like it leave bitch i know that is the great thing about life right is like we can make our own choices like that's something that's like beautiful about life you know we can make our own choices we can decide where we want to live um and yeah i love that i so thank you for your comment like i don't really need anyone's advice on life if you're just like some random troll on the internet like trust me i can be a troll too okay <laughs> so an update are we staying in Texas? Are we leaving? Do I regret it? You know, all of these questions come to mind, but guys, I do not regret moving here. I mean, it's taught me so much. Seriously, I feel like it's taught me a lot of, um, like about what to value in life. And I realized like, I value having my friends and my family around. I value that a lot. Like you don't realize how lonely you are until you go somewhere where you don't know anyone. And yeah, I don't regret it because you get to learn so much about yourself and like, it makes you a stronger person. Like you guys have no idea how many just like bad days I've had where I just like need to see a friend and I can't. <laughs> So it really makes you a stronger person. I would honestly recommend that anyone like who's considering moving somewhere, try it out. Like seriously, there's like nothing can happen other than like you just learn about yourself, you grow, it makes you a stronger person and it gives you a better perspective on life. It gives you like a better perspective on just like what you value, what do you appreciate, what do you want in your life? And um, yeah, I recommend it to anyone. Like if you're considering moving to Texas or you value any of the things that I mentioned that are positive about, positive about living here, then you should move here. And a question that I get a lot, are we going to stay? And the answer is drum roll, Texans, you are very happy right now because nope, we are leaving um yeah as soon as our lease ends we are out of here and it's mostly because like we want to be closer to our friends our family um with nathan's business like we realize that we really have to be in a place where um you know he can network as much as possible and um like meet as many people as possible for his business so we realize like austin is not really um, like conducive for that kind of environment or for his business. We really have to um, just think about that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go into the question and answers that I got on my Instagram right now. So the first question is, how bad are the Cowboys gonna lose? Yeah, they're gonna lose bad today. Hopefully I'm not eating my words when this is posted, um, but the Niners are playing the 49ers. The Niners are playing the Cowboys today and they better win. Okay, so one of the questions was, how have you met new people um, living in a new city? Um, so thank you so much, Christine, for your question. I really miss um, playing soccer with you guys. So anyways, um, thank you. But yeah, it's been really, it's not super easy meeting people. I think everyone knows that, like as you become an adult, you don't just like meet people and I work remote. So that's another thing. Um, I mean, I've met other, like girlfriends on the bumble app um so that's been super helpful um i used to make friends at the gym 
like in San Francisco, I met a lot of gym, a lot of gym friends, like shout out California Fit Crew and uh, not California Fit, California Street Crew and uh, Ocean Ave Crew. But yeah, it's not that easy making friends. Um, like the gym that we go to is a lot of moms and dads and kids. You know, it's like really like a family gym. So we haven't really, I honestly haven't really seen like anyone that's like my age, but you know, I don't know. So yeah, I made friends on Bubble and um, yeah, it's hard making friends as an adult. We don't really have any friends. I mean, like the good thing about living in Texas is like you get to meet a lot of your neighbors because people are super friendly. Um, so that's cool. So you're not going to be like super lonely if you don't want to be. It's all just like, you know, what you want to do in life. All right. Another question that I've gotten actually a lot um, is, are people racist? And look, I don't want to diminish anyone's like personal experience. Um, so I'm just only speaking for myself, but I personally have not been like the victim of any sort of racism. Like people haven't treated us badly, which like my boyfriend and I have literally been the only like people of color in restaurants before. Like it happens a lot actually. It's really weird. Like we go so many places where we're the only brown people. Um, but yeah, like, no, we haven't experienced any racism or like haven't seen it firsthand. Um, I will say, I feel like it is still really segregated here. Um, we like one time in particular, I remember, um, going to Waco, Texas. And that's like that show that's on that flipping, flipping show with Chip and Joanna Keynes. Like it's, it's a really cute town, um, but when you go to the other side of the river on that town, like you realize how segregated it is. Um, and like, I also see people flying Confederate flags a lot. So um, yeah, you can take that for what it is. But next question, another question um, Des asked, do people really hate Californians, specifically transplants? And look, no one has ever been rude to my face. No one has ever said anything rude about like Californians, minus this one girl I met on Bumble, which like we won't get into right now. I might get into it a different day, but like no one has ever said anything rude about like us being from California. Like I said, everyone is really friendly, like to your face, everyone is super nice. Um, but like online, people are such fucking haters. Um, everyone's like always saying comments about like Californians, like literally if anything goes wrong, anything, like it's because of Californians. Oh, the power goes out. It's because of Californians. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's, I mean, you can just read my comments. People are like, I blame everything on Californians and it's like guys like everyone is just trying to make a living everyone is just trying to like live their lives and like not bother anyone it's just like why are you guys such haters on Californians I have no idea but no one has ever been rude to us so yeah and they wouldn't dare thank you guys so much for your questions and thank you guys so much for like being a part of my journey um i want to keep sharing with you guys like news about where we end up moving and um once the world opens up like i want to keep traveling and like sharing those travel adventures with you guys as well so continue to follow me um subscribe to my youtube channel go to my website girlvamanos.com for blogs and um you know to see all of my videos and all of that good stuff and yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and until the next time ciao <laughs> and if you're wondering yes i am stuffed up um the cedar allergies are really bad in texas right now guys like i haven't been outside my house to go on a walk or do normal things because of cedar allergies so i sound horrible but like i look cute right and that's really all that matters uh conceited bitch moment
It's been really rough in Texas. Like my kids are always asking me to like go out and do stuff. And I'm just like, guys, I have cedar allergies. Like no te puedo llevar a ningún lado. So we gotta stay your ass home. They're so needy. Like don't ever have kids, guys. Like if you cannot have kids, like just don't have kids. <laughs> and by my kids, I mean my Pooh Bear and Baby Yoda, like, they're so fucking needy. Pinches chiquillos enfadosos y prendan que hay que ir a Madonna's, ya vámonos a Madonna's. Guys, hay frijoles en casa. So, yeah, we're not gonna go eat Madonna's, okay? But for real, I'm such a good mom. Like, I give so much to my kids, like, but really the great thing about Texas is, like, I've watched so much TV since I moved here. Like, that's probably the best thing. Because, like, you just stay in your house and you just watch so much TV. Like, I've seen so many shows, so many movies. Like, guys, it's the best. Okay, kids, you guys gotta go away. Like, this is my show, okay? Like, you guys gotta leave. Seriously, get out of here.